Hey y'all, it's Charla, and on this week's episode of Corn Fed, proudly sponsored by 40 Creek Whiskey, a friend of my husband's gave us some antique furniture that she had growing up, and he helped her move, and she just gave it to him, and it is beautiful. But it does need a little refinishing, so let's get to work. the first uh, antiquing of the dresser a go, but it really didn't turn out the color that I wanted. So I had to call in the big guns and I called my girl Alyssa because she just graduated from Texas Tech with a graphics design degree, but she kind of does this on the side and I need her help. So Alyssa, what do I need to do? How do I do it the right way? Because I wanted everything to kind of match this table, but my dresser, the one that I did, kind of turned out a little too muddy, a little too greenish gray. That happens a lot, and we actually had this problem a little bit earlier that, you know, a lot of times if you have a certain color stain, it doesn't go with the color of paint you're using. So after a couple of go-arounds myself, um, we figured out that the walnut stain, just cheap stain, worked the best. All I usually use is a paintbrush, a knife, and um, a rag. So that's really all it takes. And after you paint, you just literally go across and you kind of get that old distressed look that you're looking for. Like I would have never thought to do that with a knife. Like I right. thought you just sanded yeah. to do that. And then you just take the stain over it and it's gonna give you that distressed look that you're looking for that's not over the top. You still want it to look like have a new look to it, but it just gives it a really good nice new fresh look. Usually I use a rag to rub and we kind of found a really muddy look that I haven't really found before but I think it's because you're using white. So if you use white most likely just use the paintbrush. I mean it has barely anything on it. What we did was we just barely dip the paintbrush in the stain and like wiped off almost all of the paint and then just I mean, you barely just yeah. tap it and yeah. go that way and this way, and it gets down in those white paint ridges that we kind of created when we first painted again. So, so we have old and new <laughs> and back to new again. <laughs> we actually thought that um, just for another user friendly, you don't have to go out and buy, cost, it's more cost effective to do, um, you know, just take the knobs it had and just use Brasso, and it still gives it that very old antique look, but they look brand new. And so you didn't have to get new expensive knobs, it's just the same thing, and they look brand new. And it's gonna look so cute when we put it back on here. And you could get super cute knobs, but I love keeping like the original the ones on there. Being very original, and those knobs are really expensive, yeah. so this came with it, and there you go. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed the helpful tips and tricks for refinishing furniture. Coming up next week on Corn Fed, that's proudly sponsored by 40 Creek Whiskey, I am taking you out to my first annual, is there a such thing as a first annual? My inaugural Aw Shucks craft show and concert at Red's Roadhouse in Kennedale. Love y'all.